every exhibition is an experiment for me. And uh, besides wanting to make new pictures, show new pictures, uh, I also wanted to bring together uh, pictures from the whole breadth of my practice, from um, works that look at, um, at my sort of backbone and heartbeat of photography, which is the portrait, to my fascination with the photographic process and the photographic medium, which in some way or other is, is always uh, involving sort of technical understanding for the most part of my career that my photographs, and, and I still feel today that my photographs should look like what it feels like to look through my eyes. See and understand something with my eyes and the, in the real world, and once I see and understand or sense something, the senses, the feel, the touch, the smell, then I uh, take the camera and can take a picture of it. And then the great thing is that it might just take a second to do so. There is uh, 10 years of thinking about something at play, which can be realized in one second. And then I leave it also. I don't make a series of this. Um, it's a sort of single picture. Um, and um, I trust that that is enough. What you see in this room is um, an ongoing interest in how two-dimensional materials throw folds and, and create sculptural forms. And this interaction of uh, sculpture and photography is maybe at the, another sort of central aspect of my work. It's just, I just found photography to be this very economical way to think about sculptural forms. And uh, it's a sort of, they are kind of ready-made works that I don't need to show or arrange as real objects. Part of this bringing the materiality of the photograph into, into focus um, is by also showing side by side my two preferred ways of um, exhibiting photographs, which is the unframed way um, where they are just suspended by two binder clips um, and um, the framed way how um, the work is, is um, with a glaze, uh, with a sheet of glass in front of them, creating a completely different um, presence in front of you. And one could think that it is a contradiction, um, but two completely different possibilities at arriving uh, to bring a work of mine into being. Um, and to say there is only one way would be artificial. Photographs um, are very well reproducible um, on paper, in magazines, in books, and, and that immediacy of them being able to travel um, lightly and being available um, at low cost is an incredible strength of them. And of course, that's also part of the success of photography as a, as a language, as a medium. Um, and, um, and I've worked with books, designing books, um, and, uh, and magazine spreads um, since the beginning as an extended practice of working with the original, with the unique, precious print, um, or the fine print that I made with my hands or make now in my studio, um, which show things that you could never show in a book in its clarity. Uh, but then potential of layout on the page is a language in its own. And I occasionally bring that into the gallery and bring these very inexpensive democratic works of mine onto the wall. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really a, a work, a room um, that 
constitutes of individual works, but together it, it is one work as well. Pleasure or play are usually terms that don't show up much in serious art consideration and conversation, uh, but they are, of course, incredibly important and, and they are so not, not serious. Yeah. You know, play is serious. Uh, without play, there is no learning.